Do you think you can't lose weight because you don't have any willpower? Well, hit that like button and let's talk about why you don't need willpower to lose weight. My name is Sherry, and on my channel, I'll teach you how to dump the diet mindset so you can learn how to enjoy the foods you love while permanently losing your desire to overeat along with any extra weight. Using willpower to lose weight simply isn't sustainable. Forget about it. Maybe you're thinking, what is she talking about? You've probably heard people say that someone can't lose weight or is overweight because she has no willpower. And maybe you've thought, I can't lose weight, I must have no willpower. Well, drop that thought. You see, using willpower to lose weight is a bad idea if you want to permanently lose the weight. Willpower is resistance. It feels tense and closed down and uncomfortable. And when you resort to willpower, every time you're faced with some food you want to eat, you have to resist it. You have to white knuckle it and it doesn't feel good. Not only that, but your willpower is a limited resource. Everyone's is. Have you ever noticed how much easier it is to stick with the program during the first half of the day and much harder later in the day? Are you more disciplined early in the day to get your work and chores done and then late in the afternoon or evening you can't get yourself to do anything except watch TV? Well, that's because later in the day your willpower has been depleted. Think of your willpower like a tank of gas. And with each new day we have a new supply in our willpower tank and then we use it to motivate ourselves to get our work done, to avoid eating pan au chocolat and a sticky bun for breakfast, to do chores, cook dinner, do work, and then we're tired and we'd rather get takeout. As the day goes on, your willpower reserve gets depleted and you have less left in the tank. So if you wanna use willpower to eat less dinner and pass up dessert and not down a bag of tortilla chips on the sofa while watching Netflix, it's going to be harder because your willpower tank is almost empty. When you run out of energy, it's harder to access your thinking brain, which makes it easier to fall back into your old habits. And that's the real reason why willpower isn't sustainable. It requires a lot of energy from your thinking brain as opposed to that part of your brain that runs on autopilot, your beastie brain. Because you have more energy earlier in the day, that's why it's easier to be mindful of the new habits you want to form and stick with your plan, but harder to do at night. And that's why I don't like relying on willpower as a way to manage your eating. Because when you get tired, your brain gets tired and you won't do well with the white knuckling approach. That's also why so many people who use willpower to lose weight have trouble with eating at night. If you keep trying to use those remaining fumes of willpower, your chances of not eating too much at dinner or munching out on the couch is going to be a lot less. I'm sure you've known the occasional person who manages to stay slim dieting and using willpower. It's usually a control freak obsessed with her weight and she doesn't have a balanced approach to eating. She's usually denying herself an array of forbidden foods, has a ton of food rules, and then overeats at weird times. It's exhausting. She thinks food is sinful. And because she's in near constant deprivation mode, when she's weak or when food is abundant, she can't resist and eats those foods she's been depriving herself of. And then will beat herself up for a lack of willpower and start that cycle again. Who wants to live like that? As I said, it's exhausting and you don't have to. The alternative to using willpower and resistance is learning to be willing to feel your emotions instead of eating to avoid them. And the reason most people overeat in the first place is for comfort. And because food is only comforting as long as it's in your mouth or maybe for a little while afterwards, it's just not a good solution. It leaves you constantly seeking additional comfort. If you haven't listened to my video on emotional eating, then check it out next. By eating for comfort, you'll continue to gain weight and become uncomfortable in a more real way. Then you're uncomfortable because you've outgrown your clothes or you don't like how you look or you're having difficulty breathing on exertion and all of those other issues that come with being overweight. So I hope you'll notice the times that you want to eat but you aren't hungry. What are you feeling when you do that? 
notice when you're most likely to want to eat when you aren't hungry. And that way, you'll know what to look for. You can be prepared and have a strategy for those times. So check out my video on how to eat what you love and lose the weight. It's free and you can start making permanent changes towards your goals. There's a link below. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos. And thank you so much for watching.